Hello everyone, my name is Dave and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'd like to show you how to compute the following. The integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over the quantity 1 plus the tangent of x to the root 20 20 power. At first this looks very difficult and if we type this into Wolfram Alpha we get an approximation of 0 0.78538. However, as this was a question that appeared on the MIT Integration B qualifying round and computers or calculators were not permitted, I will be showing you how to compute the exact value of this integral. Now let's continue and look at the integral. Once again, we have the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus tangent of x raised to the square root of 20 20 power. Actually, it's going to turn out as we progress through this question that the square root of 20 20 doesn't really matter. In fact, we could raise the tangent of x to the power of any real number. So for now, I will rewrite this as 1 over 1 plus tangent of x raised to the alpha power and I will let the entire integral be equal to i1. Now there is a little known property of integration which states that the integral from a to b of some function f of x is equal to the integral from a to b of f of a plus b minus x. In this instance, a is equal to 0 and b is equal to pi over 2. I can insert these values into the integral and I will get the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus the tangent of pi over 2 minus x raised to the power of alpha. At this point I can apply some trigonometric properties, namely that the tangent of pi over 2 minus x is equal to the cotangent of x, and that the cotangent of x is also equal to 1 over the tangent of x. This will give me the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus 1 over the tangent of x raised to the alpha power, which is also equal to the integral of 1 over the tangent of x to the alpha power over the tangent of x to the alpha power plus 1 over the tangent of x to the alpha power. This can easily be simplified and we will get another integral 0 to pi over 2 of tangent of x to the alpha power over 1 plus tangent of x to the alpha power and we will call this integral i2. We can recall that the original integral i1 was equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus the tangent of x raised to the alpha power. However, we just proved that i2 is equal to 1. In other words, i1 is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of tangent of x over 1 plus tangent of x to the alpha power with respect to x. Therefore, we can combine these two integrals. Therefore, 2 times i1 is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus the tangent of x raised to the alpha power plus the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the tangent of x raised to the alpha power over 1 plus the tangent of x raised to the alpha power. Since these two integrals have the same limits of integration and they also have the same denominators, I can in fact combine these two integrals into a single term. Therefore I will have 2 times i1 is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 
of 1 plus the tangent of x raised to the alpha power over 1 plus the tangent of x raised to the alpha power with respect to x. Now our integral simply becomes the integral of 0 to pi over 2 of 1 with respect to x. This means that 2 times i1 is equal to pi over 2. And dividing through by 2 gives us our final answer, which is i1 is equal to pi over 4. This is the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a comment below and like and subscribe my video. Thank you.